One of the first things I noticed that Windows Vista was missing was the ability to make an easy dockable toolbar that you could put your shortcuts on so you could have access to them at all times without having to go back to a desktop or your start menu. You can still do it and I've got that tip here on YouTube and on my website at helpmerick.com called Pimp Your Toolbars, but I've since then found two tools that actually work real well. They're add-ons, both of them are free, that allow you to create a toolbar and quite easily in Windows Vista as well as Windows XP. So if I hover my mouse down over here in the lower part of my secondary screen, Mac users will notice this because it looks like a knockoff of the Mac dock and that's what it is. It's a program dock for Windows XP or Windows Vista. Very easy to install, small download, works again on XP and Vista, seems to run quite well and doesn't slow anything down. By default when you install it, it comes up with a certain set of settings and icons as well. There's a network icon, a my documents, a my pictures, control panel, easy access to some of those things. If you want to add your own icons to the dock, all you do is click on your start button, go to your programs, you can't see that because I'm off screen here. In the programs you find the program you want. I'm going to choose Microsoft Word and I'm just going to drag it, so I'm dragging it over here to the dock and I'll drop it on the dock. Now when I go to my dock I have easy access to that program as well. If there's an icon on the dock you don't want all you need to do is right click on it and choose delete the item. Now on the dock as well there's a button way over here towards the right called dock settings. When you click it you get access to all of the different options available in Rocket Dock. So in the Rocket Dock settings if you start here in the general one thing I noticed right off is it has multi-language support. I mean I don't know how many languages there are but there are literally dozens. If you check run it startup your Rocket Dock will always start when you start your Windows. You can even have programs minimized to the Rocket Dock and therefore if you don't want to use the Windows taskbar you don't have to. So that's there as well. If you go to icons you can choose all kinds of settings between size and the way they act and all the different icons settings right in here. Position, you can position the dock on any side of the screen you want. You can center it, you can offset the edges, all kinds of different things. I have two monitors. I have my rocket dock set onto my secondary monitor. Under the style, you can choose different backgrounds and different text settings on the rocket bar. And under behavior, the one thing that I've set is auto hide so that it's not always visible, but when I want it, it pops up when I need it. So again, I have the auto hide set. If I want to get to one of my programs, I just hover down in the area where the rocket bar is, click the program, up pops the program, and I'm ready to go. No hunting, no fuss, no muss. And for those of you that like to try out different things, there's another one out there called StarDock. And if you try StarDock, it works very similar to Rocket Dock. I've tried them both. I seem to have a little bit more of an affinity for the Rocket Dock. But again, they both work quite well. Give it a try and you'll have quicker access to your files and folders in Windows Vista and Windows XP.